certain things that he won't be able to, I guess, say in English. Yeah. So, okay. Question number one. It's a lot of deaths and complications from the cause of procedures like this. So as a doctor, are you ever nervous before doing a cosmetic procedure on someone? Okay. Dice que como hay a veces muerte después de cirugía, tú como doctor, ¿te sientes nervioso de la posibilidad de que eso llegase a pasar? ¿Te sientes nervioso? Sería mentira si no dijera que siempre siento nervioso. It would be lies if I tell you that I never feel nervous. Pero los nervios hacen que siempre tengas el control de lo que estás haciendo. But feeling that nervousness makes you to make you more confident to do the things right mm. and all so to have the control of the situation. The dangerous is when you lost the nervous. Mm. It's more dangerous, don't feel nervous. Okay. okay. So you don't you try not to be nervous. Yeah. You try to he feels the nervous but the nervous make him more confident to do things right okay. and control. Yeah. So basically he's saying he's nervous sometimes, but before the procedure he try to get the nervous jitters out so he won't mess up or do anything wrong so he can do the procedure with confidence, right? Yeah, and he's also trying to say that it's more dangerous to start not feeling nervous at all. Okay. Because when you get so confident, you just relax oh, and stop doing the things. That's the problem. Good. So he's saying nervous is a little good because... You're not just going in it all fast, you're going in it with a headspace like, okay, this is serious, let me get into it, mm -hmm. versus just, oh, I know what I'm doing, let's just yeah. do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's For example, it. I did, did start it with my mom, mm. my sister, mm. three cousins, all my family. Mm. During the solid print, for example, my mom, I, 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 did, I did tummy tuck, like, oh, so show, da, da, da. When I... When, you start my mom, when he was doing her mom's surgery, mm -hmm. obviously, I feel a little bit nervous. Yeah. Pero yo, yo no confío en nadie más. But he cannot trust in anyone else than no, his hands. Sino en mí mismo para la vida de mi mamá. He only trusts himself for the life of his mother. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Question number two. I know we've been on this question for a long time, y'all. <laughs> okay, so question number two. How long is the full recovery process from lipo and or a BBL? It's a good question because the recovery, the, the recovery time is proportional to procedures. For example, lipo culture, the recovery is maybe seven days until ten days recovery. Mm -hmm. If tummy talk, it will be more days, three days, four days more. Mm -hmm. If mommy made over, for example, lipo suction. Tommy talk, breast lift, and power transfer is not made over, it's more time recovery. It's maybe 30 days or so. Mm -hmm. So you say a life or BBL is four days, five days? No. A life or BBL is like eight to eight eight. days. So when I say mm -hmm. for recovery time, I mean completely no uh, bruising, I'm completely healed, I'm completely I'm healed. Completely healed. Uh, swollen, okay. nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cuando uno estudia cirugía plástica, when, when he started plastic surgery, the recovery three, have three steps. Mm. The first step is 48 hours. Mm. The second step is maybe one month until two months. And the third step is until one year. Mm. In summary, you recovery complete is one year. One year. For that, I told you. One year, y'all. It's swollen, it's for one year. But, so on my stomach, the yeah. slower procedures like this. So as a doctor, are you ever nervous before doing a cosmetic procedure on someone? One year. For that, I told you. One year, y'all. It's swollen, it's for one year. But, so on my stomach, the yeah. slower in the mix. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I can barely breathe with this pot on. He said my waist will be smaller than this, huh? No. Yeah, we okay. we'll put this in the end. Ooh! <laughs> Y'all, next time I'll be able to put the pot out here. Yeah, I'm sure. For that. <laughs> okay, cool. So about a year. Yes. Of the most, uh -huh. right? Okay. Are they under the command? Which one is turned off, Kamiji? Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, question number three. Everybody wanted to know this. Why is sitting on your butt prohibited after a BBL? Prohibited meaning? Yeah. 
you no. can't do it. Yes. <laughs> Why? I prefer because when I do power transfers, is live cells, vivas, cellular vivas. Yeah, yeah, living cells. Living mm -hmm. cells. For well, life, I prefer. I prefer the circulation. Para que sobrevivan esas células. So he prefers that uh, for the purpose for the cells to live more time, you don't see on hard surfaces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard surfaces. So bed is okay. Bed is okay. Yeah. Couch is okay. Couch is okay. But not chairs. Yeah. Hard chairs. Hard chairs. Yeah. 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 It's, it's curious, but it's kind of like the camioneros. It's kind of crazy, but you always put the example of the truck drivers, you know? It's very fat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's saying truck drivers, their butts are always really fat because yeah. they sit on their butt too much. Yeah. So oh, that's okay. what happened. You do driving, driving for eight hours all the time. Yeah, they're oh. fat. Mm. Okay, because you need fluid circulation to supervise. Okay. 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 So, how long before they can sit on their butt with the BBL? Okay. When do you can sit after the BBL? I think about four or five days. Is okay. You can start sitting in soft surfaces five days, folks. Ah, oh, okay. But he always recommends to use even the BBL pillow for twenty days. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What about when I'm sleeping? Because it's really hard to sleep on my stomach. Can I sleep on my bed? Yeah, yeah. I told myself, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We can't sit on our butt. A lot of people was very upset about that, but you can sit on our butt. Soft surfaces, like hot, soft cushion, but as far as really hard chairs or maybe even the toilet, even mm -hmm. BBL pillow. But the toilet is short time. Oh, it's short time. Yeah. It's short time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So long periods of time, you can't sit on your butt. But if it's your bed or your chair or couch or something, it's fine. But after hard surfaces, five days. After five days, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after five days, yeah. I, I, um, I'll, 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 I'll slip on my side. Okay, yeah, Great. okay, <laughs> that's why you have that with salt already. Yeah, okay, so, um, question number four, four. can someone who's very slim get at it? I think it's with the gal, but I don't know what I'm saying. Absolutely. They can? Yes. He said, absolutely. So if you're a very slim team, you can get ab etching. No, no problem. The only problem with facing a lot skinny is the BBL. Mm. Because I need fat, remember? Oh, you need a lot of fat. Fat to transfer. Ah, look, but how many fat? The oh asterisk is the B BMI. The BMI. The BMI. The BMI. So he's talking about the BMI calculator, guys. With your body fat and your muscle fat, right? No, you height, height, and weight, and your width. Okay, yeah. so yeah. your height and your weight, right? Uh -huh. Fat weight. In Google, you can search Google. What is your BMI? Calculator. Calculator. Okay. It's the best to BBL is my is minimal twenty five. So you have to be twenty five BMI. Twenty five. Yeah. That's a good BMI to transfer fat. So if they're not. Um, uh, can I say if they're not if their weight isn't up enough, they will have to gain weight yeah. yes. before the surgery. Yes. Was, okay. Okay. Um, question number six. What's the youngest? Oh, I hope you don't say me, y'all. <laughs> What's the youngest age you would recommend for a cosmetic procedure and why? Wow. To liposuction? For lipo? Uh, for anything, lipo? anything. Cualquiera. Niños a orejas a los No, he can do ears for kids of eight years old. Ears? Oh, yeah, when ears. they have like ears like this. Oh. Yeah, but remember the bullying. Because sometimes it's a cause of bullying. Oh, bullying. Yeah. Ah, like, <laughs> like, a, like a this. Oh, if it's out far. Uh -huh. With eight years, I recommend Eight years. It. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. What about BBO? BBL, 
18 years. 18? 18 is good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I thought I was young to get a procedure done. It's people out here that's 18, 17 getting this stuff done. Yeah. And what about lipo? 18 years. Lipo, yes. Lipo, yes. The same age. So you say at least 18 years, guys. Unless you are like a kid with like ears and small minor changes, mm -hmm. eight years. In Colombia, the rules. It's because I don't in the United States, but in Colombia, need the signature for your parents. Oh, so if you get the signature from your parents, then you get Less signed. 80 years. For example, ah, my daughter has, for example, 70 years. Mm. Need signature with the fathers. Parents. I think that's it in America too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, to have like, kids here with 16 years do break augmentation. 16 years here? 15 years. Woo! But you need. Know. But you need the permission of your parents. Okay, parents. But have you ever done a 15 year old? Hace 12, 15 años, unos años. No, no. Oh. <laughs> I prefer, I prefer don't because I know exactly the rules with lawyer, con los abogados y eso. Entonces, he prefers not to do it because it can come with uh, legal oh, uh, issues. Yeah. I prefer just wait. I oh, prefer right. prevent the problem with lawyer. Like, yeah, got it. Yes. Okay, um, number seven. How much do you charge on average for a BBL? Un promedio que tú cobras por un BBL. Promedio. It's, it's difficult that question, right? Because it depends the, the limit, the BMI. The, but for example, so it depends on the patient. Yeah, for example, 4,500 until 6,000. It's between uh, just BBL is for 4,500, four, um, 6,000. Oh, so that's five hundred from six thousand dollars for a video. What is the answer? Is that four thousand five hundred? Oh, four thousand. She's like, not five hundred. Y'all not getting no five hundred. I need to change that. Four thousand five hundred. So forty five hundred. Yeah, USD through six thousand for a video. Yeah, yes. for video. <laughs> but without the up edging mm -hmm. and the arm lipo. Obvious. For example, ah, doctor chain, arms, inner thigh, knees. Up <laughs> edging. Yeah, it's more expensive. <laughs> <you're> right, right? <laughs> okay. Um, number eight. This is a good question. Everybody wants to know this one. How long before you can have sex with your partner after a video? It's just. Todo el mundo hace esas preguntas. Everyone does that question. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Everyone asks that question? That is normal, yeah. yeah. It's a normal question. I, I answer maybe with 10 years because... What, 10, what, 10, 10, 10 days. 10 days. No, 10, days. No, 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 yeah. 10 years! Over and being active. Yeah. With the fire, it hurt less. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know, that's weird. It hurt less with my fire on. With my fire off, pain. Ella sore. siente más dolor y más se siente sore mm -hmm. cuando no tiene la faja puesta. Yes. Y es por eso que su piel se está heriendo. ¿sí? Claro. Cuando yo hago la lipo, when he does the lipo, hago muchos túneles por debajo. He makes a lot of tunnels down your skin. Suelto tu piel del músculo. He unplugs the skin for your muscle. Por eso la piel tiene que bajar y so pegar al now músculo. the recovery is that the skin goes down and stick to the muscle. Mm -hmm. So that process is a little bit uncomfortable. That's when you are out of your fire, yes. it's like loose. For that the, the patient feel good, comfortable sí. when you the paja. Sí, sí. Yes, because the paja down and keep it. It brings it everywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, last question, guys. Um, this was a good question. This is a question for me. They are taking you, safe. so you are safe. We don't want uh, any patient have a bad experience, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, just the healing process. Yeah. They need to get those shots. They need to get those massages. Yes. And that's very important. Yes. Because yes. we can go to sleep and you know. No. Yeah. For sure. You know better. Mm -hmm. See. <laughs> Okay, that, that completes the question. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Can you just look like, like, turn on uh, her? Oh my God, <laughs> look at the collaboration, man. <laughs> yeah, I feel great. Like, honestly, my experience here at the recovery house is great. Dr. Hernal is great. Um, it's, I, I love the nurses the, the, the most because 
you know, during the, the recovery process, you're very sore. You don't feel like getting up, doing things you're supposed to be doing. The nurses, knock, knock, knock. They get you up. They get you out of bed. They make sure you get your massages. You're taking your medicine. Like, they check because it's important, you know. Um, so, here was really great. I, I, that's, I, wanted, I want you to make the recovery house mandatory because <laughs> before my surgery, people were scaring me with stories. This person died. Yeah, no, uh, Angel is leaving tomorrow morning. Yes, I am leaving in the morning. Uh, <laughs> we are going to meet her so much. Yes. Really experience. So much to experience. She's a truly angel. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to miss you. I'm going to miss y'all too. Yes. <laughs> Keep us out there. I will. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you. Nice to meet you. Happy. It's it's done. Okay.